Welcome to the Walpole High Film Festival's podcast, One Point Perspective, a podcast that explores the world of digital filmmaking and talks to young aspiring filmmakers in high school, college, and beyond. Now here are the hosts of the show, Mike Allen and James Conley. Welcome back to another episode of One Point Perspective. This is a buzz episode of One Point Perspective. In today's buzz, we'll be discussing the movie No Good Not A Bart. This movie is brought to us by the Starfruit Crew, which is made up of Marin Gallivan, Katie Borchardt, Joey Martin, Riley Schultz, and Emma Ledwith. And it's uh, featuring roles from one Mr. Morgan and one Miss Not A Bart. This is uh, a script that was uh, Emma's idea. Came about from an activity uh, from, that we do every year, for the last few years at least, where we kind of take an adjective and put it in front of a faculty's name, hence Adorable Alan from last year. And uh, this was Emma's. Emma had this kind of uh, idea that she wanted to write, and we helped her flesh it out, and I gave it to Riley and Katie to write. We're very happy uh we we had like a you know after the first couple drafts we just kind of sat down after school one day and and hammered it out and and we were all excited great role for emma i know a lot of people were excited about emma's role in uh last year's movie the um phone cord from hell and so she is taking a starring role in this one still with her co-star mr morgan and featuring I guess they're all in that movie last year now that I think about it. So featuring uh, Miss Nottabart, who a lot of people have requested get a larger role, and uh, deservedly so. Yeah, from the movie last year, Emma, and actually in Michael Hegarty too, they requested we need more Hegarty, more Emma, more Mr. Morgan, and more Miss Nottabart. All four of those were requested. All four of those wishes were granted. But this movie in particular has Emma... Uh, Mr. Morgan and Miss Nottabart in it. The original script, I know you kind of glazed over. You said we did a few drafts. I think it would either be rated R or NC-17. It was definitely something that we could not show at the Wobble High Film Festival. But it has... It was quite violent. It was quite violent, yes. Uh, But it has been shaped into a movie that I think is is just really tight. I think it will be well-received because it has a good cast and a good story all together. Yeah, we had to make a decision with this crew because this is a th- um, three sophomores and one junior, and, and none of them have uh, much experience at all, if any. And it was like either split them up and put them with some directors that have some experience or put them together on a uh, script that is accessible, that they can get done, that's in school, that we can be there to help out with, and they learn more, I think. Because as you know, you know, it's when you have to do an independent film, that's the best way to learn because you have to do everything. And I, I just had a feeling that that would be the best for them to actually give them a leadership role. And I think they were first, they were kind of shy about it, of course, you know, because they just don't, you just don't have confidence in what you're doing because you've never done it before. And just watching them, like especially yesterday we were on set. It was a, They had like a two and a half hour shoot with Mr. Morgan and just watching them progress, you know, and, and just knowing what they want and checking the shots and giving direction and moving the camera around. Uh, I was like, okay, this is what I want. This is exactly what we like to see. And I think individually, I've seen Marin, Katie, Joey, and Riley all step up in their own way. And like each, I've seen them each take the lead. I've seen them each take a, you know, just an active role listening and helping. And so it's really great to see uh, because these are kind of the future of the next couple of years is, is this crew and others. But like this crew is definitely one that we weren't, they're very green. We weren't really sure what we were going to get. But they're doing really good so far. Yeah, and and we can't say enough about Emma. You know, Emma 
is the rock of this crew. Emma's been involved with film for how many years? Uh, four, I want to say, yeah. All four. Yeah, four years. Senior year. She has all the lines memorized. She's really prepared. Uh, so, like, we're so excited for her. And, like, you know, the I want that performance there from her. And, and to be recognized uh, in some way would be phenomenal. Yeah, I think, I mean, everyone in the school knows and loves Emma. And I think that if she can give the performance that has that reaction on the premiere night that that everyone's you know super excited for i think that would be just awesome for her especially senior year it, it's really great i'm really looking forward for this crew uh, for their first movie and emma for you know her final her final one with the film festival really excited you know can't say enough good things about this young starfruit crew um, making movies hopefully not excuses so for the movie no good not a bart my buzz is a grande chocolate cookie crumble cream frappuccino. My buzz for No Good Not a Bart is a grande paradise drink Starbucks refresher beverage. And there you have it. That's the buzz for No Good Not a Bart. You've been listening to Walpole High Film Festival's podcast, One Point Perspective. What is up, friends and fans of the Walpole High Film Festival? As you probably know by now, listening to these buzzes, we're releasing movies from the 18th, 19th, and 20th annual film festivals. Releasing tonight at 7 o'clock on our YouTube channel, we have IDK. Tomorrow, we have Finding the Mask. Again, these are found on our YouTube channel or on our website, whsfilmfestival.com. Also, be sure to check out the Recycling Drive this Saturday, the 15th of April, from 9 to 2 in the Walpole High parking lot. Have a great day.